more than kitsch, the Toy and Action Figure Museum taps into a vein of pop culture delights. The museum was born out of the passion of one man and one community. The man was Kevin Stark, an artist, collector, and toy designer. He was instrumental in getting the museum started and serves as executive director and curator. Paul's Valley, which is located an hour south of Oklahoma City, put together a plan to make itself more appealing to travelers. The museum was a cornerstone of its Visions 2010 plan. The Toy and Action Figure Museum opened in late 2005 in the heart of the downtown National Historic District. Stark says that people should come visit the museum because it is the only one of its kind in the world. There are lots of toy museums and lots of train and doll museums, but according to Stark, it is the only museum in the world that is devoted to the art and sculpting of action figures. The museum appeals to the kid and superhero dreams in all of us, with drawings from Oklahoma cartoonists, thousands of action figures, interactive hands-on areas, and behind-the-scenes toy news. With over 13,000 action figures, not only does it have one of the largest collections in the world, it also has exhibits on how figures are designed and sculpted, along with prototypes and other behind-the-scenes information. The museum covers a range of action figures, including military figures, space toys, superheroes, and older western toys. Stark says that even though many people think the museum is just for kids, most visitors find something they had as a child and are soon transported back to the days of their youth. The Oklahoma Cartoonist Collection is also housed in the museum. Assembled by Michael Vance, a Tulsa writer, the exhibit focuses on Oklahoma residents who made their mark drawing and writing comics. Chester Gould, the creator of Dick Tracy, is well represented, as are Jack and Carol Bender, who currently works on Alley Oop. The museum, open daily, offers special rates for groups. With advance notice, Stark can lead private group tours. The well-known artist and toy designer will demonstrate how action figures are designed as he allows the group to assist him bring a superhero or villain to life in the design phase of the action figure industry. Stark gets group members shouting out suggestions for action figure features and details as he draws it up right before their eyes. For more information, please visit the Toy and Action Figure Museum at www.actionfiguremuseum.com